everyone, this is Shantanu. Welcome back to my channel again. With reference to my previous class, this class will too be about sentence improvement for the competitive exams like SSC, CGL, CHSL, MTS, Bank, etc. etc. This is sentence improvement series part 15. Kindly browse through the playlist of my channel Competitive English, you will find different types of series given for the competitive exam. Now let's get started. Kindly keep concentrating on the board. Look through the first question. Young men and women should get habituated to reading about current affairs. Now you are just asked to improve the underlined portion if needed. Now look through the option used, prepared, trained, no improvement. So habituated means used to, but the fact is that used to and habituated both are equal. But if I say habituated, it gives a better impression than used to. Otherwise prepared and trained both are different in meaning as far as habituated is concerned. So habituated and used to both are different, both are not at all different, but habituated gives more, you can say more space than used to. So as far as the improvement is concerned, sentence improvement, if the option is used to and the underlying portion is habituated, there is no need to improve it. If the case had been opposite, habituated might have been the answer. So the right answer lies in option D that is no improvement. Now if I go next, I will not go to school if it shall rain tomorrow. There are four options. It would rain tomorrow. It will rain tomorrow. It rains tomorrow. No improvement. This part belongs to the simple future tense and this part should belong to the simple present tense. But instead of simple present tense, what is written is that it is in the simple future tense. So it should be in the simple future tense for the betterment of the sentence. Now look through the option, it would rain tomorrow, so it can't be. It will rain, it can't be, but it can be, it rains tomorrow, it is in the simple present tense. So this is the answer. Now look through the next question. When the exams were over, Onil and me went to our native town. There are four options, me and Onil, Onil and me, Onil and I, no improvement. There is no need of any improvement in this portion but if I just look through the next one this is the principal clause on in and me here me is functioning here as a subject it can't be the subjective form of me is I I me my mine M I N E. so automatically this should be I instead of me but here what is written is I so the sentence, this part of the sentence needs improvement. Now look through the option me and Onil, Onil and me, Onil and I. Here is the improved part. So the right answer lies in option C. Now look through the next question. The clouds of misfortune appear to have blown out. Blown out means extinguish. There are four options. Blown up. Blown up means exploded. Blown over means faded away without serious consequences or results. Blown away, here is another example, means impress someone greatly or you can say kill someone with a firearm. Kill someone with a firearm. So as far as this word blown out is concerned, means extinguished or put out. So the answer can be blown away because the time is past. The time is faded away without serious consequences. So it's, you can say, 
the poison of misfortune has come down so the right answer lies in option b that is blown over means faded away without serious consequences now look through the overall class the first answer goes for option d that is no improvement second answer goes for option c that is it rains tomorrow third answer goes for option c that is on e and i and the fourth answer goes for option c option d not option b not c or d option d that is blown over so blow up blown up means exploded blown over means faded away without serious consequences blown away means kill someone with a firearm or you can say impress someone greatly so this is my short class for the day as far as sentence improvement is concerned if you are unable to understand any part of this class or any thing of my analysis you can easily drop your comments in the comment box section but before finishing the class i should say that if you like my video you can share my video subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell icon for more such video apart from this class if you would like to know any more thing regarding your completed exams you can easily make comments in the comment box section kindly wait for my next class till then have a very good day